Oh, hi there, mate. My name's Josh, if you don't know me. Obviously, I help people buy commercial vehicles. And uh, I work in a dealership where we go about six, seven hundred or or something like that on commercial vehicles, vans, four by fours, like these ones, you know, quite a few here. Okay. Uh, small vans, big vans, minibuses, lorries, everything. We got everything here. And uh, so I set out to uh, um, April, beginning of April, I said uh, to myself, I see the target as in the business um, is 35. You know, we, you know, five sales people doing 35, but um, I managed to do 38. Now, for people who've never hit a target, I see that feels like quite a lot, but I have not, it's not quite a lot actually. Um, Looking at uh, historical figures, really, I've been. Uh, I, I used to do um, more than that because in a year I would do about 600, 700, uh, you know, vehicles, and to do that you need to be doing, um, on average, about 50, late 40s, um, early 50 on average in a year, which obviously 2020, 2021. It's kind of numbers I've been doing. So um, this year, 2022, is going to be tough. So far, I'm behind. You know, four months is, uh, down, but I'm behind. Numbers are not there. Uh, in other words, I'm not helping as many people as I need to. Now, bear in mind, you'll see, that's not a big deal. But look at it this way. For me, it's a big deal because this is how I look at it. I look at it, okay? The people I have today, 2022, are the same people um, I'm going to be helping, you know, in two years' time or three years' time. They'll come back. Um, now, when you have less people, that means you have less people to look for, for to uh, as re repeat business or the people who are going to actually um, recommend to other people for, for, you know, for their friends and family um, or buy more vehicles for, the, for themselves. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think the main thing I need to do right now is to just learn the lessons that I'm done in property in April or, you know, all this year so far, really. And uh, double down, you know, put things that actually work, um, you know, activities that actually work in May, June. Um, so that probably end the quarter and in the second quarter, I can sit back and look back and say, I'll see probably I've done I've done better than the first quarter, which is obviously, then I can go hard again in the third quarter. So by the time it's fourth quarter, I need to get back to, you know, same numbers or more numbers than, uh, you know, um, than what I've been doing in the past. So um, I share with this also because I just want to share with you the journey of me as a salesperson. Now, why is that important? Because salespeople, obviously we have, um, this thing where people look at us as people in a society that probably um, they are not trusted as much. You know, if you look at the uh, uh, the most trusted professionals or professions in the country, you find out uh, um, sales. You know, it's not up there at all. Why well, is not there up there? Because obviously there are stories about people not telling customers the truth with regard to pricing and stuff like that. Um, I was selling vehicles that uh, they didn't tell them the truth what's going on and obviously having problems, okay? What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to come clean, I just show people what I do every day and my intention is obviously to help as many people as possible so that way I can help myself because that's the only way. You help more people, you help yourself, okay? And uh, also in the journey of the... Um, is it's a good chance to see if I discover anything that's going to help me out, you know, that's going to be a good thing. But also this May, I'm launching a, a podcast, which obviously I'll be interviewing a few other business people who obviously started in selling and uh, all sales game. And now obviously they're doing more, helping more people, not just their customers, but also they're helping people buying vehicles from them. So, um, yeah, really appreciate for your time. Re I appreciate you for you watching this, but it's one of those where now uh, it's time to go hard on the uh, next month and see what's going to happen. Because guess what? If you don't monitor what you're doing now, uh, there's no way you see opportunities on how to improve it. So uh, I know what I've done so far and what I've done in the past. Probably it's about time to try new things that are reportedly 
uh, able to help on results, on closing more deals, helping more people. You know, it's not just selling them, it's about helping them obviously decide and obviously they feel that uh, they didn't get ripped off. They got the best for their money that they invested. Anyway, thank you and the catch up soon. Appreciate it.